today has just been one of those days. We had uh, three loads of uh, straw, three wagon loads of straw that had been loaded yesterday evening. Uh, I had the had the boys meet me at the farm at eight o'clock this morning, and uh, we got those wagons un unloaded pretty quickly. I think we were in the field by 10 o'clock baling straw. I was very pleased. They, uh, but they were kind of fresh, uh, being it, it was first thing in the morning. In the field by 10 o'clock baling straw. Well, in the meantime, I had to buy them breakfast uh, because neither one of them had eaten anything before they left the house this morning. So they uh, talked me into buying them breakfast. So I have the I have my GoPro out, my newer GoPro, my newest GoPro, and I'm introducing them and talking about breakfast and different things. We go to get on the tractor to start baling straw, and I go to grab my GoPro again. I can't find it. I have lost my GoPro, so I've gone to the. Uh, obsolete technology box and I've got the old GoPro here the hero what is it the hero 3 plus uh, so that's what I'm using I have walked the field looking for the GoPro I think I remember having it as I was walking to the tractor to get on the tractor so my guess is I set it somewhere on the tractor because I had to get the key and unlock both doors. So I think I set the GoPro down, unlocked the door, went to the other side, unlocked the other door. And I guess I just forgot to get the GoPro off of the step or wherever I sat it. So I have not found it. I've walked all around that place where the tractor was sitting. Uh, walk down the field part of the way the first pass we made I haven't found it so I've lost the GoPro uh, so here we are with the old technology so then we get into things things are clicking pretty smoothly we've got we've got a crew on the wagon loading a crew in the barn unloading and things are going pretty good then I have to stop and buy them lunch got them some fried chicken for lunch and then that's when all hell broke loose. I had uh, Jeffrey coming down as a relief help to uh, help unload some wagons. Well, we didn't need to by the time he got there. We had all we wanted in the barn. We just needed to get all the wagons loaded. Well, that's when my man on the combine, he's, he's dumping wheat in the truck. I'm going to take the wheat to the bin and he dumps the the uh, combine full onto the truck. He gets out. He said, I think I broke a belt. Sure enough, on the unloading auger, as he stopped the unloading auger, both both belts, it's a two-belt system on there, both belts broken. Well, by this time, it's 5.30, so everybody's closed up. You can't call anybody to check about inventory and who has what. So I decide to call the 24-hour uh, parts line. I've never tried this before. Well, while I'm on the phone trying to call this 24-hour parts line, my daughter is trying to call me. I, I send her a text saying, look, I'm, I'm on the parts line here. Um, I, I'll have to call you back. <clears throat> well, the guy on the other end of the parts line for some reason he cannot get access to any of the locations in their network to check inventory I have the part number very simple I've got the part number for you I just want you to tell me where it is well he's gonna to have to go to the shop wherever his location is and log on to the computers at the at the shop okay can you call me back when you figure this out so he said yep I'll call you back I called my daughter She's got problems with the baler. They've sheared a pin on the baler. Well, she puts me on FaceTime and shows me what the issue is. I show her what to replace, so they get that replaced and get that up and going. 
I call another dealer and see if they have a 24-hour parts line. Since I don't have an answer from the first dealer, I've got to make a decision on where I'm going tomorrow morning. Uh, well, there, there is a 24-hour number for the other dealer, but nobody answered that number. So I find a belt. I have one belt. It's a, it's a matching set. You have to have two belts for this unloading auger on the combine. I have one on the shelf. I don't have two. I've got one. So um, I go back to the field. In the meantime, the daughter's got the farmer's daughter has the shear pin back in. She's rolling and rocking and doing all her, she's doing her thing. My guy on the combine, he's reloaded the tank. I told him, don't stop, you know, at least load the tank. There's a chance of rain tomorrow afternoon. At least I'll get the tank loaded. Don't know how I'm gonna get it off. So I take the one belt down and I have an idea and we take all the shields off. I put the one belt on. I said, okay, you, you've gotta have everything in place first. Have the auger over the truck. I'm gonna put the belt on. You're going to start the machine, immediately engage the auger. As soon as it's empty, disengage the auger and turn the machine off. I'm taking that belt off. Well, lo and behold, that worked. Uh, so, we got that going. The daughter, farmer's daughter, she finishes uh, with all the straw. She gets all that bailed up. We've got three wagons loaded. I'm hauling one of them back to the farm now. Uh, my guy on the combine, he, he loads the tank again. The parts guy calls me back. He tells me that they do have one at their location on the eastern shore. As far as the belts go, they have a belt set over there. So, I guess I'm getting up early tomorrow morning and taking a ride to the eastern shore. Hopefully I can be back here by um, before 10 o'clock and uh, get that belt back on and hopefully we'll finish cutting this wheat tomorrow. We have finished baling with the straw. We haven't put the planter in the field yet to plant any soybeans behind this wheat. But uh, we uh, got the straw done. Hopefully we'll finish the uh, cutting the wheat tomorrow and then chance of rain tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and then uh, hopefully we can plant some soybeans on Thursday and Friday. That's the game plan. But yeah, it's just been one of those crazy days. But hey, that's that's when you're farming, that's just the nature of the beast. But it really pisses me off that I've lost my GoPro. That That's the worst part of the day, actually. Um, I'm going to go out in the field again tomorrow, I think, and, and walk a little bit further, see if I can find it. Oh, well. All right, well, it's uh, almost 8.30. I'm, I'm pulling one of the last wagons of straw in. The farmer's daughter is bringing, she's bringing the last one. I've got the next to the last one. She's bringing the last one. We've uh, got the baler in the barn. So it's going to be shower time, dinner time, and adult beverage time. And then it's... Uh, up early way early way too early for me to head to the eastern shore but it's what i gotta do i don't know of anybody else i can call on to make that drive for me oh well i need to get out of get out of the county i haven't been out of the county in a month probably maybe longer than that all right i'm gonna say okay a beautiful sunset tonight it has gone down and we've got a barn full of straw well it's not the barn is not full back in our heyday we would fill both of these alleyways with straw about 10,000 bales uh, that we would we could get in here uh, so I've got the one alleyway about uh, maybe two-thirds yeah about two-thirds full uh, what do we got there about uh, 1800 1800 bales in there I think we didn't we didn't stack it real tall I mean we have stacked it a whole lot taller than this before when we were putting away 10,000 or 15,000 bales all right let me unhook this wagon here and uh, head home see if there's gonna be any dinner on the table for me all right uh, so 
adult beverage time. So I'm going to say, see ya.